Why am I returning these Ray-Ban Meta smart glasses? Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope you're doing all right. My name is Matt. This is Dwyer Creatives and I want to talk about why I'm returning my Ray-Ban Meta smart glasses. Now it is two minute Tuesday, so let's put two minutes on that clock. Hopefully I can stick to it. Usually I don't. Now, why am I returning these Ray-Ban Meta smart glasses? I really do like them, especially with the new update where you can record up to three minutes. So why am I returning them? My major reason of why I'm returning them is they just don't fit my face. I have a Asian face with a low bridge nose and these are meant for someone with a high bridge nose for this frame. These are the Wayfarers. So this means when I am wearing them, I have to keep them more pressed to my face. They create hot spots along the top here and then the bottom. So they're sitting on my cheeks and they do touch right below my eyebrow here and there. Now the other thing which is really annoying to me is that they constantly slide down on my face throughout the day. I'll have them adjusted to here and then a few minutes later they'll just slowly fall down where I can still see through them but I can my vision is definitely cut off on the top so I have to constantly move them and adjust them upward and for me this is something that I just can't get past. This is my major reason why I'm returning them. Now the other thing is because I have them pressed so close to my face the LED indicator here on the right side of the frame, on the inside, I can't see that unless I physically move my eyes and look right. I'll give an example. The other day we're out and I'm taking a few pictures and videos and I can't tell if I'm actually filming or taking a photo. I don't, I'm not able to see that unless I actually look all the way over. And for me, I like having that indicator to make sure that, hey, I did press that button to start the filming. Rayman does advertise a 30 day period that you can try these out and they don't work for you, you can return them. And that's exactly what I'm doing. For this process, it was actually really simple. I called their customer service number, went through the prompts, talked to an agent. They started the return process and then within, I would say about 12 hours, I was sent a return label. If you are returning them or thinking about returning them, I would try to keep all the original packaging which I currently have for mine. So I'm just gonna slap a label on it, clean everything up, factory reset, and then put everything back in the box as it came. Now they do note that there is a warning on the side of the box that you need to have. So just make sure that you have that or they can send you another label out. So those two minutes blew by really quickly and I know that I'm really bad at trying to stick to that, but what can you do? If you have any questions or thoughts about these Ray-Ban smart glasses, let me know down in the comment section below. I know a few of y'all have had questions and I have done my best to answer all of them. So if you have any, just let me know. I'm going to wrap this up right here. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.